What was it like working with Marlene Dietrich? I wish I knew. I must ask somebody who did work with them. Why? <laughs> well, it, what happened... For the duration of the film, they were trying to get Marlene to come to Germany, but she wouldn't because since, uh, I think, a period in the 50s, she's been reluctant to go back because um, her views differed very much with what was happening in Germany during the war. So she stayed in Paris and said, I will do my filming in Paris. All the way through the film, she said this. And uh, I quite agreed with her. And we talked to each other on the phone and we decided it would be fine if I did my bit in Berlin and she did her bit in Paris and the two were gelled together. And Never actually of, met her? No. That's but amazing. I, I think it's quite nice in the context of the film because she's forever the observer, really. And uh, knowing that, it makes her mm. even more of the observer. The well, mystical, wonderful mm. Cocteau character that she is. Have you got a military education? Mm. Yes, my father was Colonel von Bushkotsky. Any other credentials? Languages? There's one thing I don't like. Poor fantasy in speech. It lacks charm. And you don't seem to lack anything. Do you lack anything, David Byrne? Isn't she lovely? She's marvellous. I wish I'd met her. Looks fantastic. A long time ago. Mm. <laughs> I'm 